Inktober day a um I didn't do a peach tober for this day. I just did Inktober and the prompt was toad. And let me tell you, I love drawing frogs and toads. It is one of my all time favorite things to draw. So here I am getting out my little supplies, figuring out what I'm gonna do, what size pens I want and everything. And I'm getting ready, I'm sitting up. I am and was really excited about this piece. It is uh, Tuesday, October 24th, and I'm just now getting to recording a, uh, a voiceover. And I really love this piece. Okay, so let's talk about why I didn't do Inktober because that's what we're gonna, that's, that's what I wanna talk about. Um, the Inktober prompt was Dream. And let me tell you, I was so sick of trying to do Dream. If you remember, Inktober day one, the prompt was Dream. And Peachtober day eight was also Dream. And I didn't feel like doing Dream anymore, okay? I didn't wanna do it. I did two prompt, two things for Inktober because I didn't record the first one. And I was like, you know what? If I have to draw another thing about Dream, I'm going to lose my marbles. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make myself happy. I'm just gonna do Inktober today, which is, you know, um, what most normal people are doing. And I'm deciding to make my life harder by doing two prompts a day, which by the way, I am not on time. Um, I tried, I am so far behind. I'm like two weeks behind. Um, there was, I was doomed from the start with this. So first of all, I didn't prepare whatsoever. I was trying to prepare, I did not. My grandparents who raised me flew in on the 4th of October and they were here for about a week. Um, and that whole time I didn't do any art because I wanted to spend time with them because I miss them and I wanted to spend time with them and yeah, and then Halloween is like my favorite holiday, so I've just been doing a lot of Halloween-y type things. Like I went and I brought my daughters to the pumpkin patch. I have been, you know, setting up little gift bags for my oldest daughter's Halloween party at school. And you know what? I have not had time. I was doomed from the start. I knew this month was gonna be busy. Um, every month is busy, but this month is even more busy. And I was kinda just, I was doomed from the start. Um, so anyway, I really like it here. If, if I didn't add the shading, I would have. I think I would have been okay with it. I do like the piece all in all. I like the line work. Um, but so this pen that I'm shading with is like a .05, but it's almost out of ink. So it was perfect because it got those like lighter scratchy lines without being like line lines. That doesn't make any sense. Um, it's like lighter scratchy lines. So it looks more like shading and less just like hatching. Um, if that makes sense, it kind of looks like a little bit more subtle. That's what I'm going for. Subtle. That was the word. It looks more subtle, which I like. And I just really, really like this piece. I love this grumpy little toad. Um, I exaggerated like his mouth part a little bit from the reference so that he looked just grumpier and more just like, I don't care about anything at all because that's how I felt about this, this Inktober. Um, I really wanted to get it done, but... I gave up around this day because I was just so overwhelmed with life and I was so far behind. Um, I just, I was really forcing myself every night to stay up late to do it. And then my youngest daughter would wake up at like five in the morning and I was just so tired. I was like, I am not gonna be able to function like this for a whole month. There's no possible way I can do it. It was just impossible. So yeah. This is, this is where I was at. And I really liked it like this, but I had that square outline. I used it as like a, a guide for, cause I, some, I have a bad habit of starting a drawing where I feel like is the right spot. And then I don't map out like where it's going. Um, and then it ends up like part of the drawing ends up off the page or it just doesn't sit right on the page, if that makes sense. But then I, when I erased the square, I was like, it feels like this, something's missing. And I wanted the square. So anyway, I drew the square back in and I added a green background because I was like, instead of coloring the frog green, I'm gonna put a green background. And I used one of those midliner highlighters, which, um, I mean, I don't understand the hype behind them, but they're, they're pretty cool, they're good. They're just not like, oh my gosh, midliner highlighter. I wanna spend 20 bucks on this highlighter. Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't see the point. Um, but 
I thought the green square was a nice little addition and it brought in the green of the frog without coloring the frog green. So I, I like it. Here's the final piece. He's my little grumpy boy and I love him. I love the grouchiness of this frog. I look, toad, sorry. But I love the grouchiness. I love the little crooked side eye. I, I love him. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a nice day.